I attract money, wealth is in my reach I got everything I want and everything I need I keep my mind open, abundance overflows I budget right and I know where all my money goes I am debt free and money works for me Money in my sleep, a magnet for prosperity Ain't nothing wrong What up Kingdom Builders? Welcome back to my channel I am your girl, Ebony Yvonne Your favorite business lunch strategist in these internet streets welcome to soul struck land this is my internet home where i help you to go from confused to the cash generating balls that we both know you are meant to be listen i am getting so tired of people always complaining i'm a small business owner i can't do this i don't have the backing that big brands have you can't expect me to do like amazon and have two day shipping listen people are always comparing themselves to big brands but i want to tell you as a small business owner you can actually leverage this to your advantage okay in today's video i'm going to give you three strategies three marketing tactics that can help you leverage being a small business owner and really work it to your advantage so i don't even want to waste time with this video let's jump right in with strategy number one which is do what big brands can't okay big brands have such a large audience they have so many customers they clearly probably don't know what customer buys what and when they could walk past their customer in the street and they would probably not even recognize them right as a small brand you pretty much probably have a good rapport with your customer especially if they're repeating customers you've probably talked to them on the phone or at least in social media comments like work that to your advantage because you are small allow yourself to give people the attention that they wouldn't get from big brands what i mean by this is when when you have people commenting on your social media so what you only got four comments comment to those four people let them know you see you see them right respond with authentic conversations so that you can build community when people enroll into your programs if you only have 10 new people that sign up for your coaching program that's great because you only had 10 people guess what you can dedicate more time and resources to them so when they enroll you can actually send them um like a video message that thanks with a personal thank you hey name thanks for enrolling in the program i'm so excited to work with you like that is something a big brand can not do and there are so many tools out here today that can help you with being able to send video messages and email or even through social media if you can't send a video message like you can send a voice message through social media like you could literally go into their inbox and just say hey welcome to the program glad to have you and um i guarantee they are going to appreciate that and that is going to be something that helps you that helps them to have a good user experience and then they're going to be more likely to refer you to someone else okay so work being small to your advantage and do what big brands can all right let's get into the next strategy of how you can actually work being a small brand to your advantage and this is by being good at what you do listen one of the ways that I've been able to really grow my business with there being so many other business coaches out there is I looked for the void in the market. I paid attention to the complaints that um, customers had with working with other business coaches, right? And so a lot of people complained about not really getting real strategies or like the focus is all on mat mindset, but there's no real strategies that's helping them to actually build their business um people complained about okay you told me what i need to do but you didn't tell me how to do it 
So I leveraged all of that when I created my courses, when I created my programs. I said, let me make sure that whatever I promise, whatever I am putting out into the market, that I can deliver on it. And it's going to be better than anything out there that they've ever experienced before. And that is exactly how I've been able to build my brand. Like my clients will tell you that the content of what I offer inside of my programs is better than people who have platforms 10 times the size of my audience, okay? So be good at what you do, and this is gonna help you to grow. At the end of the day, referrals and word of mouth is still the number one best way, hands down, to get clients. If you don't think that that's important, think about why um, recommendations exist on Facebook. How many times throughout the day do you see your your Facebook friends asking for recommendations, right? For a plumber, for a makeup artist, whatever, because people really value other people's opinion. So be good at what you do. And last but not least, when it comes to you being able to leverage being a small brand is to use being a small brand as a part of your marketing position, okay? And let me give you a great example of this. Now, I have had a many of jobs, okay? My first job um, straight out of college when I graduated from undergrad, I went into a management program for Walgreens. So I was an, assist, uh, an assistant manager at Walgreens in Dallas, Texas. This was around the time when Walgreens was literally opening up Walmart. I mean, they were literally opening up Walgreens on every single corner. Their um, marketing strategy at the time was they wanted to be that local neighborhood store on the corner right so they were literally <laughs> opening up walmarts like every so so many miles apart from each other so many blocks away because they wanted to be that neighborhood store but not only that like their biggest competitor was of course walmart and when you think about what do people always complain about when it comes to walmart there's always super long lines and only three registers open right or either you just got to be your own walmart employee for the day and check yourself out right people were complaining about you go in walmart for two things and they're on complete opposite sides of the store so you got to walk all the way to this side to get the first item then you got to walk way back over here so that you can get your milk and then you got to go to the back you forgot you also need some formula or some pampers so before you know it you came in here for two or three things but you've had to walk around the whole store and then by this point you don't even have three items in your hand no more you had to go get a buggy and now you got a whole cart full of stuff and what you came in there to spend twenty dollars you've now spent about 200. <laughs> anyways that's a whole nother story but um at the time walgreens knew that those were the biggest complaints that customers had about walmart and they leveraged that in their market position so in all of their commercials and all of their advertising advertising and marketing messages at the time it was always saying hey you ain't got to worry about those long lines that walmart and only three registers come come being open you could come to walgreens we will get you in and out in 10 or 15 minutes you ain't got to walk all the way from this side of the store to this side of the store like our stores are you know just big enough to be able to, to provide space for what you need you can come get your formula your pampers all within three hours of each other like like that was their marketing message it was all about convenience it was all about you not having to wait in line not about having to walk all the way across this big store it's your neighborhood store where you can come in and get everything that you want that was their market position and I share this story with you guys because you can leverage being a small brand, a small business the same way. So like even with me and my coaching programs, one of my marketing positions is that, hey, you can go work with that person that got all these followers and 2,000 people in their program where you feel invisible, you're not seen, you don't get the personalized attention that you need, 
or you can slide over here to Soul Struggle Land. Come join us inside my Kingdom Coins program where it's small, it's intimate. You get the attention and the support you need. I'm there holding your hand the whole time instead of you having to wonder if you're just a transaction over there, right? Leverage where you are. Leverage the fact that you're a small brand in your marketing and I guarantee it will help you out so much. So stop complaining, y'all. I don't want to see no more quote, no more posts with you guys comparing yourselves to Amazon and Walmart and all these big brands. You in your own lane, you got your own special sauce. You just have to learn how to use that in your market position and position it in a way to where it also entices sales for your business okay so let me know in the comments below this video did you find this helpful like do you need help figuring out your market position if so drop your questions below this video until i upload another video just like this one y'all already know go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on those notifications and in the meantime check out these two videos right here yes bye y'all